This is News Cycle on My Color TV. I am John Edi, and these are the stories making headlines today, both local and globally. INEC deploys Rex to Kogi State. Senate summons CBN governor. And in sports, Senegal retains Copa Lagos title. Now the news in full. INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, has approved the deployment of three of the commission's national commissioners and seven resident electoral commissioners to Kogi State. The head voter education and publicity department, Mr. Ahmed Diambo, announced this on Monday at the INEC office in Yokoja. He mentioned the three national commissioners to include Mr. Mohamed Harina, Mr. Solomon Soyedi, and Ahmed Mouazou. Moving on, the Senate Committee on Finance has summoned the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifilu, to appear before it on Monday. The chairman of the Senate Committee on Finance, Solomon Adeola, made this known in a statement on Sunday by his special advisor on media, Payode Odinare. Mr. Emefele has been summoned to give detailed explanations on the rationale behind the exchange of rates the CBN used for the three key projects under the Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund. Meanwhile, Justice Inyang Oko of a federal high court in Abuja again ordered the Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, to maintain the status quo in respect of the interim order issued against the recruitment of 10,000 police officers. Recall, the Police Service Commission had taken the Nigerian Police Force to court over the recruitment of 10,000 constables. Let's take a break for business and global stories. No, sir, I open it. I just figured open out that. Open the thing. Why are you not following? It's that Why show. Open, open, it's it's open it. I saw one of my policeman colleagues on Instagram leading, having money in the those who that sell some things that can make your husband start washing your clothes. I have a classmate that went to Europe, all those places. She went to Europe? She went to Europe? No. She went to Europe? She went to Europe? She went to Europe? But Bisky and his three cars that also Bobby. include a generator. Hey. Oh, Bobby. <coughs> recently, <coughs> recently, recently a guy. Bisky. I do. Guy, uh, guy, no, no, no. He had a first guy. I don't okay. want it. <laughs> okay, who? Okay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she well, I'm asking why something. we're so interested in these people. Because, because it's me. annoying. <laughs> How? Every morning when I open Instagram, I feel I'm not doing anything with my life. I'm sorry, but if social media makes you get rid of your relationship, then you like have to reevaluate your life. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> what is born is that? If there has to be something outrageous happening in your life, either you are born in a very well home, yeah. or you've decided that no matter what it takes, you get, you're going to get to that point where you're recognized as a celebrity. I want to hear what you're thinking. Say, baby. Yes, mm. she's ready now. Number one. The Central Bank of Nigeria has inaugurated a committee in all local governments in the Northeast to recover 36 billion Naira loans advanced to farmers. The loan facility advanced to the farmers through the Northeast Commodity Association is part of the Anchor Borrowers Program of the federal government. In Meguguri, the chairman of NECA, Ahaji Sadiq Dawari, inaugurated the committee for Borono State and its 27 local government areas. I reminded the farmers that the loans will be repaid. Let's take a break for sports stories. Unemployment has always been an issue in Nigeria. And with the decline in our economy, things are looking better for the youth. The stats of unemployment at this point is 23.1%. But the question we tell not ask ourselves are our youths, or rather our unemployed youths, are they employable? When we come back, we'll be answering this question as well as discussing other related matters with our guest, who is a corporate strategist. So don't go anywhere. I'm your host, Mandy, and this is Deep Dive, exclusive to MyColor TV. We'll be right back. <laughs> Senegal 
on Sunday, once again, crowned champions of the 2019 Copa Ligas as they successfully defended the crown they won in 2018. The Senegalese has won all their three matches in the 2019 tournament to emerge champions. Senegal defeated Brazil 5-4 in their first match and beat Nigeria 5-2 in their second encounter, while their last match with the Three Lions of England ended 3-2. And that's all the news we are currently following at the moment on News Cycle. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at MadColor TV for more breaking news as the day progresses. On behalf of the News Cycle production team, I am John Edu. Thanks for staying with us. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>